Well, we've been hearing news, of course, in the last uh, week or so of uh, prominent leaders. Uh, Boris Johnson, the UK Prime Minister, testing positive for COVID-19. And also uh, Prince Charles is the heir to the British throne, testing positive for the coronavirus. Coming back home, uh, you would have heard that the leader of the uh, ACDP, uh, Reverend uh, Kenneth Meshwe, uh, went for a test uh, for COVID-19 after having come into contact at a church gathering uh, with people uh, that had uh, tested positive for the virus. He went for this test and has received his results. He's on the line now. Let's find out how those results went. Reverend Mesher, thanks so much indeed for joining us and uh, sharing your time with us. Uh, you've received the results of that test, and what did they tell you? Well, the results just say they are positive. That's all they said, that they are positive. And um, so we are just, we are just uh, hopeful that our members um, who are frightened will see our reaction uh, as people who have been allegedly, allegedly positive and how we respond, uh, that they will be encouraged to respond appropriately themselves. Uh, for me, this COVID-19 has flu symptoms. And because we had flu uh, attacks in the past, and we overcame and we got healed of all those flu attacks. Even this time, this time, we will also overcome again. People need to understand that um, life goes ahead. Life goes ahead. Flu come and flu goes. Storms come and storms go. go. So that's, that's the position that I am so that uh, people will see how we react and uh, yeah, and people will see how we react and hear that we are strong and uh, that if they are attacked themselves, that they will take courage in what we are saying so that they can be strong themselves. All right. How are you feeling at this time? What kind of systems, symptoms are you experiencing? You know, I, I don't have symptoms yet. Uh, I've been asked the question of symptoms uh, for the whole week, and I've never had uh, any symptoms that they are talking about. And uh, so I'm strong. That's why I'm, I'm, I know that we are going to overcome this thing also because uh, my body is strong. And uh, if I have to run a marathon, I can run a marathon. So what is the medical advice that you've received so far? I, I suppose with no symptoms, is there any treatment required? Yeah, our, our medical doctor still has, I think maybe to, he closed shop today um, because uh, we got the results around midday. Um, so I've not been able to contact him yet. But I'm still trying, and um, so so the basic health hygiene. Uh, we are observing that, drinking a lot of water, and ensuring that uh, we remain in isolation. So, so you're you're at home with your family. How many uh, people are around you at home? And. Uh, when you talk about isolation, are you isolating yourself from other family members as well? Yeah, I'm just with my wife. At home, I'm just with my wife. So, yeah, I'm not isolating myself and uh, even from my wife. Has she been tested? Say it again. Has your wife been tested for the virus? Yes, she, she has been tested. Okay, and uh, has her results, is it uh, negative, positive? If you, if you can say, if you, if you don't want to, that's up to you. Yeah, the, the results of her testing will make known uh, later on. All right. So I suppose now you have to start drawing up a list of people that you may have come into contact with since you were exposed yourself. And uh, that, of course, includes the president. Yes, but fortunately the president tested negative. 
fortunately he tested negative, uh, which was a great relief to hear that the, pos- the president tested negative. Mm. So, but uh, I'll also include him as one of the people I came into contact with. And uh, senior members of your party, are there a number of them that uh, you've come into contact with that you've advised to go get tested? Actually, not. Um, fortunately, when this thing happened, um, we were getting into a period of lockdown. And uh, one could not do anything until I received the results. And the results only came in today. And uh, because there's lockdown, they are all home. Mm. And uh, I'm telling them that uh, if they have flu flu like symptoms, then they need to go for testing. I have not, I have not had, I've not seen the need of telling all other members of the party um, to go tested because I've not met many, many of them myself. I've not met many. Mm. The past two weeks have been a very, a very secluded a period, and uh, so I've not met many of them. All right, so the Reverend Mesha, we're going to start wrapping it up, but perhaps a final question. I think you've said uh, physically you're a strong person. Uh, what about mentally, spiritually at this time? If you could just share with us how you're feeling and uh, perhaps uh, what your prayer is at the moment. You know, it's a, a very important question you are asking because if one has a strong mental resolve and a person is also prayerful, then that person is well able to overcome uh, because we know that God does hear and answer prayer. So um, we are strong mentally, we are strong because we are Christians, we are praying and uh, trusting God that we will come out of this uh, challenge as in the past. I've had flu. I've had flu many times in the past, and I overcame that flu. So even this corona that good symptoms uh, are like flu, um, we will always also overcome that as we overcame flu in the past. Okay. Reverend Kenneth Meshwa, thanks so much indeed for your time, and uh, we wish you the very best with a speedy recovery. And uh, thank you for sharing with us your story.